by marine forecasts for the, the Atlantic Ocean and also the eastern part of the Pacific Ocean. The same areas that are covered by tropical cyclones, they provide marine forecasts. So you can imagine, obviously, for ships, um, for, for, for cargo ships and cruise ships, uh, ocean going transoceanic vessels, they need to know, obviously, uh, where storms are, where the storms might be moving. So this, this information is sent via a marine facsimile or kind of our facts that uh, ships on ships in the middle of the Atlantic, for example, can receive we via satellite. Right? What's that? The the we facts, the weather facts over HF. There's there's yeah, that's probably it. yeah. There's different names for it, but it's pretty much yeah. It basically they're getting it through a like high frequency uh, you know, satellite. Basically, so it's taking bringing it in. So even if you're in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean, for example, you can get, you can receive your weather forecast charts. I can tell you where a storm may be going, uh, you know, 24, 72 hours. Uh, and even during the winter, of course, we deal with non-tropical uh, non systems, uh, gales, etc. And they need to know where those are going to be as well. So, anyway. Anyway. Um, Is this the office that we call to order flat calm seas when I'm going fishing? Or Locally? You, well, yeah, you know, yeah. anywhere. Who do I call to order flat seas in nice yeah, weather? That's actually over here. Oh, yeah, over there? That's, okay. my, that's my side. Oh, <laughs> so you're to blame. <laughs> yeah, exactly. All right. Uh, the Hurricane Hunter planes, don't they test them for other things during the winter? Like, didn't I hear them going up they into do Alaska? Train, they do training missions, and they also do winter storm reconnaissance. Yeah, Alaska. Winter. Oh, okay. Hmm. Isn't that a tunnel? Oh, yeah, okay, let's, we're going to go over yeah. here. Yeah. Here now. Okay, you can just, if you want, you can just take this area over here if you want. It's Okay, this, oh, I'm sorry, let me, uh, get Don and uh, Don's working at the uh, Well, let me describe this. First of all, this is the Miami Weather Forecast Office. This is the forecast office for South Florida. This is uh, basically where your Skywarn, uh, where the data, you know, where your base information for the severe weather and all your daily weather comes from is right here in this office. And so you see we've got a, we actually have a double, we're actually double staffed here this morning because of the severe weather and the possibility of severe weather. We have a... Dan, Dan Dixon and Dan Gregoria on the east, and Andy Tingler over here. Uh, actually, Dan has been here since 3 in the morning, right? Been here. Oh, yeah. Andy too. So they've been here since 3 in the morning, you know, because we need for the expert coverage uh, due to the severe weather. And we also have Barry uh, Baxter. He's, he's, on, he's out here right now, but he's working that desk over there. And we have Tyrone Mosley over there. He's working on the weather radio, and he's the one that did the balloon launch this morning. Release the weather balloon. So we have, a, you know, we got a full staff here today because obviously for the weather. So we, we we're, we're also a 24-hour day, seven-day week operation. Obviously, the weather never stops, whether it's good or you know, good weather or bad weather. Um, the way we divide up our forecasting, so to speak, is the person who sits over here at this desk. They do the public and marine forecast. So you're talking about the marine forecast for our local waters. This person over here is what does that uh, forecast. Over uh, the other desk over there, that person handles aviation forecasting, as well as any local warnings that need to be issued, severe thunderstorms, flood, tornado warnings. And they also do the fire weather forecasts, There was a routine forecast done every day of the year. And then uh, Tyrone over there in that corner, they're, they, they're the data, what we call data acquisition, data uh, collection, quality control of the weather balloon. Uh, they monitor the weather, no weather radio, make sure that the broadcasts are, are okay. And of course the weather balloon. Who's watching the game up there? Well, actually, it's funny, funny you mentioned that. Uh, you notice our TV screens over there. If you notice on the top, we have the yeah, areas that they wondering. cover. So we can monitor all the local, all of our local media markets here. We have a direct TV package that we, we can actually see different uh, media markets. So since our area encompasses three media markets, we actually can view the, the Southeast Florida media market <coughs> on the left-hand screen. Uh, the Fort Myers, Naples area stations on the second screen, 
West Palm Beach, Palm Beach County, on the third screen, and then the other, the one on the far right, usually on Weather, Weather Channel or some national level. So you call it the Weather Guess and Go. What the heck did you say that for? Yes, we can. We can, or, or really, what we mainly use it for is, for example, they just scrolled the, the tornado watch on the Palm Beach County screen there just a second ago. You know, and we use the monitor when we issue warnings. We like to monitor and see, make sure the scrolls are going across. They are just, and, and maybe we can also even get reports. So we the actual reports, you know, through those those monitors. So it's really good to have this set up here where we can be viewing. Uh, what is actually being sent out to the public? When I lived in Fort Myers, there was uh, it was just, I almost dropped up the sky mark because of this. But anyway, um, I saw a tornado touchdown, water spout turning into a tornado on Pine Island, and I'm watching the thing from half a mile away, and I get on the local computer. Anybody put Skywarn on? Yeah. Tornado on the drive. He goes, Yeah, we're watching it on TV. Hold on. We'll get back to you. Oh, okay. So you guys probably saw it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, they had the tower cam watching. Right. Oh, right. I guess you don't need me on it. Exactly. Who's the guy that makes those weather announcements on TV and they break in? And is he a, is he a nationalized American or something? Or? <laughs> Okay, let me <laughs> be careful because he's sitting over there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. okay. I want to turn to the radio. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. That lovely voice. Yeah, it's automated. Yeah. Okay. I can't, I can't, I, by the time they get through screwing around with it. Some things decipherable sometimes. Are you, is this what you're referring to? No, the, the one that goes over the TV, you know, they come up. It's the same thing. It's just same they process thing. it. it? And they, yeah. Well, is it the same one? So yeah. yeah. Are, you talking about, are you referring to the emergency to the tests of the emergency alert system? Is that what you're referring to? Yeah. I don't know if those are automated or not. I mean, we don't we don't.